Buenos días amigos, es el tiempo del rey, del rey, and it is 3.45 in the morning here. Um, yesterday was Global Youth Day, so we had a lot of fun about it at church. Um, we, we had the youth, which at my church is different than what I'm used to. Um, so my church back home, Chapel Oaks, Whoa, down in Shawnee, Kansas. Miss y'all. Um, kids, like 12 and under, they run that place, right? <laughs> in like a good way, right? Like a lot of the um, programs are for the kiddos and it's a great place to like raise your like 12 and unders, right? Um, but here it's like, there's 20 plus 12 and ups up to 17s and I was like oh there's a lot of kids but different age kids so um that was a blast we grabbed all of them and um they all had the same shirts on which was cute Josiah's getting his shirt separately because we came late it's fine and um we had bread juice and cookies in little side pan SDA uh, bags. And we had that along with a flyer for one of our upcoming events. Uh, apparently we're having a week long VBS at our sister church, Kagman, Kang, Kangaman, Kagman. Oh, I still gotta figure out where I live <laughs> and what's around me. Don't judge me. Anyway, anyway. Um, but that was really fun yesterday. I had a great time. Um, it was me, my son, and then uh, one of the pastor's kids and one of the students in my school. We all jumped in my little car and I felt bad for the pastor's kid. His name is Daniel. Daniel is a tall man. I mean, like, my goodness, he is taller than me. And his little, his like knees were like stuck against the dashboard and his head was like, from the from the car top and I was like are you okay and he's like yeah no I'm fine I've got this it's like are you sure <laughs> nothing I could do about it though but still I felt kind of bad I felt like he was in a clown car because the car that his dad drives is like <laughs> it's like a big like SUV and I was like I got a compact car bro it's not the same <laughs> um but today, that was really fun though. We each had about seven or eight houses to visit um, to give the bags to of the goodies. Um, so what was the spiel? Hi, we're from Saipan SDA Church. It's Global Youth Day. And we are here to share the love of God. Um, here's a bag of goodies. And we explained what the goodies were, which is chips, cook not chips, cookies, juice, and bread. And um, we also have a flyer for, we have free health screenings at our clinic. Um, and um, we have free health screenings of VBS and after we're like a regular, um, a regular thing, like a regular like nightly conversation about health for about a week during our spring break. Our spring break is in like April, which threw me off a little bit. It's April 3rd through 7th or 8th. So um, we're having a mission mission trip coming from Guam to us to help with some projects at the school, some just like some stuff here and there. So I'm pretty sure Josiah and I might like jump in and try to help with like transportation or food or um, my goodness, the actual mission, like helping around with projects around the school. Let me tell you about the food. So I prayed, right? I said, dear Jesus, this is the first time I'm bringing something to potluck, right? Potluck is every other week here. Um, and there's always something new for me to try. I'm like, what's this? What's that? I thought like after a few potlucks I've gotten like the gist of it, I was like, but what's this? It's a flower. Like, I'm eating just a flower? Yes, it's an edible flower. It's, it's purple. Yeah, eat the flower. Well, that flower is delicious. What is it? some name in a different language. Oh, it's delicious, thank you. <laughs> like, what's this? It's seaweed. What do you mean it's just seaweed? It's just packaged seaweed? Yeah, try it. 
<laughs> like, I've never felt so awkward and excited at the same time. And people are like looking at me like, do you like it? Do you like it? Like, I don't know. I'm gonna try it though. Ah, buenos dias, muy Yes, it's 3.45. Oh. 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 You want to come snuggle? Yeah, I'm so tired. Hmm, so tired. Because during youth day, oh, somebody decided to run with the teenagers and literally chase. Mm. There. There. There we go. Okay. So, I prayed. I was like, since I've been trying new things, I wanted to bring something from home, basically, right? So I brought beans, just good old fashioned beans, the way that my mom, you know, the way that my mom used to make them. And uh, I made, I was like, you know what? I want to make it for the church, of course. But I also want to have some leftovers. So I'll make an instant pot full of two bags of beans, right? Like two pounds. Um, that should be enough where we have a little bit left, maybe like a cup or two. That should be good. Y'all, when I came back after being at prayer ministry, right, which I love now, um, I went to prayer ministry, I came back, I had some, I was like, okay, good, good. And then I came back from trying to find this little thing, because he went, he likes to run around at church, and I love that. He's a little crew that he runs around with. But um, I still couldn't find him, I needed to make sure he ate, because sometimes he doesn't eat, he just runs and plays. And um, I came back and said, has anyone seen my pot? And like my Instant Pot thing, y'all, it was scraped clean and they washed it. They ate all my beans. I was like, Lord, I did ask for them to enjoy my beans because it was like good. And I wanted, cause like, I was like, Lord, this is like a, a gift to you kind of like thing. And I'm trying not to be vain and I'm trying not to be like, oh, I know these beans are good, right? I'm like, I'm hoping these beans are good to them. Cause they tasted amazing to me. But I wanted to make sure they tasted good to them because it's a different flavor profile, things like that. They ate all my beans. I said, Lord, answering my prayers exceedingly and abundantly in a comical way. That sounds like you. Thank you. <laughs> but um, so, yeah, now I have to make more beans. Apparently, they're delicious. Um, just gone. Gone. Um so uh, today is the hope run and the hope run starts at 6 30 in the morning staff members have to be there at 5 45 which means me and this little guy have to figure out where it starts like they told us where it is right but like oh yeah it's right over here by that and it's right by that do you know where that is no i don't know where anything is yet <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I've been here for almost two months, but that means almost nothing when it comes to navigation. So me and GPS have been real, like, close. Close. <laughs> so I'll figure out where it is, though, because if it's an actual, it's called Garapan Fishing Base. If they're actually fishing there, I need to know. Because if they're fishing there, I need to either be the best friend of a new fisherman or um, find someone who will teach me. Because I want to learn how to fish. Might as well, I'm on an island. Oh, oh, big praise. Yesterday, we got adopted. Like, just randomly adopted. Like, so we did our special music, which was so scary. How did you feel about doing our special music? I felt proud. Oh, yes, I was very proud of us. So um, we did our special music. After special music, um, or after the whole sermon, a lot of people were like, oh, I've never heard that song before. We sang The Great Commission by Cain. Um, they're like, oh, that song is so beautiful. And it tied in with our sermon yesterday, which was be the sermon, right? Like love is a verb um, for Global Youth Day. And so um, this, this gentle man just kind of came over and he was just like, I've been wanting to say hi to you, but I just never had the, the, um, the courage to. But that song was so beautiful. 
and your son is so beautiful. <laughs> Everyone loves my son's energy. They're like, oh, we need that energy. And I was like, you know, everyone needs a little bit of it. And since we can't actually transfer it, I'm going to try to have a way to show you all every time that he has energy so that you guys can grab like a little bit of contact. <laughs> um, but basically they said, he said that he was so moved by the song that he knew he had to come talk to us. And um, like in the conversation, he kind of adopted Josiah as like one of his mentees. And then he was like, um, he gave me his number. Of course I lost it, which I feel terrible. That's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll see him next week, God willing. So. Um, Do you mean Mr. Bo? Yes, Mr. Bo. Mr. Bo adopted Josiah as one of his little mentees. Because uh, he has another one who's about seven years old. And so um, he told me where he lived. And again, I don't know. So I'll have to figure that out <laughs> again. Um, we're going to start going on walks with him and um, just kind of hanging out with him and his, uh, his wife. I met her in passing. I forgot her name because I'm not sure if I actually got it. I don't know, guys. It was a big, it was a day yesterday. It was a good day. Um, but that's what I've been praying for, right? I've been praying for like a set of grandparents for Josiah and, you know, a set of parents for me here so that I can... Um, start building like community and i feel like community starts with like the nuclear family and we have, I have me and him right which is great but um I, I feel like that was like one of the biggest ways to start planting roots is to find a couple that felt like to to have a couple find me you know does that make does that make sense i hope it does either way um mr Bo has adopted us really excited about that um, so we'll, uh, we'll start having adventures with Mr. Bo. And, um, today is our hope run. It's our 5k. We've raised over $5,000 in our scholarship fund to send, uh, students, local students to our, our SDA church school. So, or it's over 5,000. And that's not that's not pre-registered people, not rich people who registered to this morning, which is why we had to get up early to uh, get ready to go to the Hope Run. So today's devotional: <sighs> Love your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind. I forgot what verse that is, but. Uh, Really just put your all into whatever you have in front of you. Whether it's your family, your friends, your church, your work, your, uh, your hobbies. Just put your all into it and give it to God. And he is the master multiplier. So just be, be hopeful and trust that he'll help you. And then actually give it to him to trust you. Okay? We love you all. And we will probably have different updates about the Hope Run later on. Happy Sunday.